Hello there, how's going on lads? This video is all about AR kit full course and this is my second episode and uh, in my previous episode what we have learned is uh, we had just built a simple app which is with uh, a text on the AR camera which is similarly like this like uh, we are drilled an app with the first flutter AR app text in our AR camera so it's easy and simple it's basic and uh, what we are going to do in this video is uh, we are going to place an object in the camera and uh, we are going to make a tap action so when the user clicks on that we are going to do a certain kind of action that's what we are going to do in this uh, episode because uh, it's like uh, we are, when you tap on an object in the air camera we, we used to make some kind of action based on that that's it easy and simple this is also be going to be an easy pro episode and uh, if you haven't uh, watched my previous episode i have provided its link because uh, you need to continue from there because i'm using the same score source code in this video as well so that uh, it would make easy for the, you to follow it all right so let's start doing it so what we have is this is the source which we used in the previous video uh so let me go through that it's having the uh, ar kit controller initialized and uh, we are using uh, uh ar kit on the view created which is having a controller and we are creating a text over there so, so that's what we did in the last episode and the text is gonna be text is like a first flutter air app okay so here uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this uh, text and with a sphere which is a kind of object so in order to do that I have uh, going to use this uh, source and I'll be providing this link in my video description as well all right and so what are you going to do is we just need to initialize a sphere for that so I'm going to copy this and coming back to the source code let's do first this is the first step all right i'm pasting this we are going this is just initialization of air gets sphere you don't need to worry because we have did all the uh, pub spec and uh, installation in the previous video so you don't need to do that we have imported the packages everything else as well and uh, the second step is uh, i'm going to here and uh, the here is having the uh, own ar kit created so i'm going to bring this guy over here so this is this part copy this and there's a small difference here see so look here we are going using the void on AR kit created so here is going to text instead of this text I'm going to replace this as uh, place object and uh, I'm going to replace this with the code which I have uh, copied from there and instead of this I'm going to return this node and let me remove this all right simple and instead of this the next step is uh, you need to change the name of this function for to this uh, add object. So going to name it as base base checked. All right. So what we have here is uh, I'm just initializing on the ARKit view created. Uh, AR controller is gonna add an object which is called place object. All right. And here I have a material which is called uh, ARKit material and this material it's gonna be a sphere which i have initialized here so f sphere i'm going to initialize which is a kind of material and the radius is 0 0.1 initially the object is going to be of color yellow and in return what i'm what i'm doing is i'm just going to return the This position is mainly uh, it will be in kind of in front of the user so this is 0 0 and minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 which means it will be uh, in front of the user kind of stuff all right so in the middle and the, in the front of user so in the next step is uh, I'm going to add some action over there so that uh, 
when the user click on that material it's gonna do something else all right so I'm just copying this part and I'm going to place it over here it's having the node handler back to your source code and place over this side so here is uh, air kit controller own node tab so which means uh, when the user click on that object I'm going to node tab handler which means that if it is clicking on the first time so it will check whether it is um, the color it is checking the color over this section which is uh, initially I have made the color as yellow so if the user click on that uh, that gonna change to blue all right and this is gonna give them material kind of stuff and finally in order to make it more confirm I'm showing the show dialog object which is means a pop-up kind of stuff and inside that other dialog what I mean is text you tapped on the name the name is nothing but the name of the object this is gonna be sphere so the name is sphere so uh, when the user click on this object so it's gonna change the color from yellow to blue and then also it's gonna show an alert that you tapped on this sphere all right that's it easy and simple so this is a very this is a, I believe that this episode is going to be very easy because uh, we followed everything by step all right so let's run and check what he had done so far I have connected my device over here so this is my iPhone and from there I'm going to click this to run this project all right We go if you're running for the first time uh, it will ask for the camera permission you just allow that okay it's a pre-recorded one actually so what if I try to click on that object so it's not uh, changing what do I missed so let me go and check here from the source code uh, you can find here that there's a child with a orchid scene view and there's a line that enable tap gesture so I missed that point so I'm copying that and coming back to the code and let me get some space over here and paste this perfect that's it so let me run and check again uh, I missed one point to mention that is um, you can go from here to the Xcode if you click here find the path and open finder and from here you can go and open the Xcode from the workspace white one so if you are running in the real device what we need to have is we need to have a sign-in capabilities if you have just a developer account you can have at least two apps uh, as a free you can run at least two apps free in your mobile alright so just do the things uh, before running this we should need to have this in order to run the real device okay so let me run this and check what we made all right, this is a pre-recorded one. So what do I have here? If I tap on the object, yeah, the text is, the alert is showing that you tap on the sphere and the color have been changed to blue. If I tap again, it does the same, that like it goes back to the yellow and uh, this uh, alert pop will be showing. So it's easy and simple. All right, pretty nice, pretty good. I hope uh, this video would have someone else, all right. And that's all in this video and thank you for watching and in the upcoming video in the third episode what we're going to do is we will make an air app with uh, some kind of animation uh, much more complicated than this one so alright see you in the next video thanks for watching lads